Hello everyone, we are here at the heart of Hollywood, California with someone that I've been dreaming to interview someday. I never knew that he would live here in LA. I thought he was somewhere else in the world. And here's Michael from Gale Force and many other bands like Baron Cross. Michael, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Thank you for having me. Good. I'm, I'm happy to have you here, you know, happy to uh, be able to talk to you, you know, interview you. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So tell me what is going on with you? What are you doing right now? Well, um, I just released uh, this album with Gale Force. It, fe it features uh, Tracy G on, on uh, lead guitar. He was the guitar player for Dio, Ronnie James Dio, uh, for about six years. Played uh, uh, on uh, two of his studio albums and a couple of live albums. Uh, also features uh, uh, Paul Alfieri and Randy Oviedo, uh, great musicians. And... Uh, uh, and myself from Baron Cross, and I'm, and, uh, I'm very, very happy with this album. So that's what I have done lately. I'm also recording a new album, another album with a different band, actually. A different uh, band? Yes, that band is called M24, and that's, we're about 85% of the way finished on that album, so... Oh, M24? Yep. Why do you name M24? Uh, that is for the beholder to come up with their own description of it. Uh, a little bit of a secret. Okay, well, next time, promise you're going to say it, okay? Yeah, stay, stay tuned. <laughs> and, and what is the difference between two bands, the sound, you know? Tell me the sound about Gale Force, and then we're going to describe M24. Okay, well, that's, that's an interesting question, because, you know, that's always something. When somebody asks me, what's the sound of Gale Force? That's always a, a question that's a little bit difficult for me to answer. So what I did last night, I went onto my Facebook page and I asked the fans, I said, what do you think the band sounds like? And so I've got a few responses. Really? Okay, and, let, me, uh, let me translate and you're going to be the response. Bueno, primero lo saludé y hablamos un poquito de que tiene, bueno, acaba de sacar su disco con Gale Force of Human. Estamos hablando de eso. También tiene otro proyecto, una banda que se llama M24, M24. Le pregunté un poquito por qué el nombre de la banda. Me dijo, mira, todavía no te lo puedo decir. En algún momento lo vamos a, a, a charlar, pero en este momento no. Así que todo bien. Le dije que la próxima me lo tiene que decir. Entonces le pregunté, bueno, contame un poquito acerca de, del sonido de, de Gale Force. Y me dice, mira, la verdad para mí es muy difícil describirlo. Entonces se agarré anoche y le dije a los fans eh, que me describan un poco el sonido. Y tiene, tiene algunas respuestas que las va a leer ahora. All right. So... Um, I got a bunch of responses. I'll just read five of them. Uh, Steve Burton says, melodic old school with a new school vibe. I think that's an interesting description. David Priest says, the music has a, a modern flair, but is still largely based in traditional metal, and that is a good thing. And uh, Brad Bowman says, crushing rhythm, crunchy guitars, and world-class vocals, classic metal with a modern twist. So that's good. Richard Flatt says, my vote for metal album of 2021. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Richard. That's very nice of you. Can I, can I check it out so I can translate it? Yeah. Okay, and then so I've, I've, well, I've got one more. Oh, yeah, this yeah. is a Spanish one, actually. Okay, okay. Uh, a Spanish comment from Carlos Duran Hernandez says, un saludo, mi amigo, un abrazo de Costa Rica. Oh. I don't need to translate that one. I don't think that uh, that's anything about music, but thank you very much, Carlos. And uh, very special thanks also to all of my friends in, uh, in South America and Central America and all the Spanish-speaking countries. I love you guys. Love you guys. Bueno, lo que describo un poquito es eh, de la vieja guardia melódica con una vibra un poquito moderna. Eh, tiene un sabor moderno, con bases tradicionales del metal, una cosa genial. Eh, ritmos eh, detonantes con guitarras bastante duras, eh, excelentes vo voces. Y otro puso, bueno, es mi, mi disco favorito del 2021. Y bueno, el, el español de Costa Rica, gracias a la gente de Costa Rica, pura vida. I know, I know you, you were the singer of Barring Cross, so... Is the lyrics also oriented with Gale Force uh, to the Christian orientation or, or just general? What about the lyrics of Gale Force? The lyrics, uh, yeah, you know, have a lot to do with uh, people and social issues and things that they deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I, I love people and I, 
want to try to provide some kind of solutions to problems that people face, you know, like uh, people who are uh, uh, thinking about suicide or, you know, or, or drug abuse or different things that they do uh, that lead people down a hole that is a very bad and dark place to be. And so I like to try to provide some kind of solution instead of uh, uh, having lyrics that are not very responsible, you know, so, because I love people. So that's really where it comes to. Le pregunté acerca de, la, de las letras de, Barbie, de, de Gale Force, porque con Barry Cross es una banda clásica eh, cristiana, y me dice, mira, eh, hablamos básicamente del día a día de la gente, cosas profundas, cosas que me afectan, que afectan a la gente, cuestión de la depresión, de cómo manejarse con el día a día, eh, porque la gente me importa, y eso, bueno, yo le dije que es bastante eh, considerado de su parte de decirlo. Y le voy a preguntar un poquito cómo se formó la banda, ¿Cómo fue la banda for Gale Force? The band, uh, I was contacted actually by uh, the rest of the band. They were, they were in need of a lead singer. And uh, all three members, uh, Tracy G and Paul Alfieri and Randy Oviedo, uh, they contacted me and they sent me a couple of their songs uh, that they had, were, were already writing at the time. And uh, I uh, instantly felt passionate about it and decided to write uh, lyrics and vocals, all of, all of my melody lines, and record to one of the songs. And before we were even a band, and that song is Crash and Burn. That's actually oh. the first... Crash and Burn. Crash and Burn. That's the first song on the album. And so we, we did that completely uh, before we were even a band. And then we met in a restaurant in Los Angeles. Uh, and uh, we talked about everything and, and decided that we have a great chemistry together. And so then we just took song by song by song and uh, put all of our effort into every song. We, we recorded each member our tracks in our own studios. Oh. I recorded my tracks in my studio, then I would send them to the, uh, the other guys and they would record their parts. And, and, uh, and it was a, a beautiful kind of vibe in this way. And uh, we did every song, we finished one song, moved to the next, did everything uh, exactly the way we wanted to move to the next, etc, etc. Awesome, awesome. Bueno, eh, le pregunté acerca de cómo se formó la banda. Bueno, la, barba, la banda ya estaba formada, él fue el último en ser llamado y primero, bueno, probaron con una canción, eh, se, se juntaron en un restaurante acá en Los Ángeles, probaron con una canción y después este, de a poco fueron grabando más, la, la, obviamente la onda se armó y fueron grabando más y más y bueno, al final terminaron así, formando la banda. Ya la banda estaba formada antes que él. Le voy a preguntar un poquito acerca de los planes futuros con la banda. Uh, future plans with the Guild Force, do you have any? Uh, as of right now, we're waiting a bit to see uh, what will happen with the whole COVID thing, but uh, uh, as of right now, we're just simply trying to get the message out and uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully people will hear the album and, and uh, so we've gotten a lot of really good comments so far from the fans and yeah. different people who have heard the album and very positive reviews and so happy about that. Bueno, por ahora van a esperar a promocionar el disco y después ver eh, qué pasa con todo esto de, de la situación global para ver si salen a tocar o no. Voy a preguntar cómo conoció a Tracy G. How did you meet Tracy? Was when when you reunite when you started with the band? Yeah, that's correct. I, I didn't know Tracy G before. Um, I was obviously familiar with, with Dio's music, but uh, Tracy G, I met when they contacted me and uh, to, you know, to be their lead singer, possibly. And so, so then, you know, I, I only met Tracy after I had already recorded uh, the first song. Wrote, I wrote and recorded all the lyrics and everything. And then uh, when we met together uh, in a restaurant here in L.A., this is my hometown, by the way. Uh, Hollywood, that's where I, where I grew up, here in Hollywood. I was raised, I was born and raised in Los Angeles. But anyway, um, uh, Tracy, yeah, we, we met together and it was, uh, it was just a really a nice uh, dinner that we had in, in this restaurant and, and we did a lot of talking and about uh, what we were all about and, and finding out who we are, you know, and, and, and who each other, what, what makes us tick, all of that stuff. So, yeah. Bueno, obviamente... Una pregunta un poco retórica, él se conoció a Tracy después de grabar el primer tema. Obviamente no lo conocía de antes, conocía la, la carrera de él con Ronnie James Dio, pero no de antes. Eh, me había contado en la pregunta anterior de que todos grabaron cada uno en su estudio y después compilaron todo. Eh, así que bueno, él sabía un poquito de la historia de Tracy. Le voy a preguntar un poquito acerca de Baron Cross, si se van a, si se van a juntar. There's 
Does any plans of reunion someday with Baron Cross? It's always a possibility. I, I will say that uh, we never officially broke up. Oh, okay. Kind of like the Eagles, you know, they said this uh, when they released their album, Hell Freezes Over, you know, they said that we, will, we never really officially broke up. And that's the case with Baron Cross. So, you know, I'm in contact with the guys all the mm -hmm. time. And uh, I just spoke with Ray Paris a couple of days ago. And, and uh, so, you know, it's not out of the question, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know when, if, if and when something will happen, but uh, I'm very happy with what I'm doing now. So. Yeah, obviously, yeah. Well, the, the question is obvious, you know. Le preguntaba a la reunión, me dice que mira, nunca nos separamos oficialmente, siempre hemos estado en contacto. Habló con, con uno de los muchachos hace un par de días, así que eh, por ahora está concentrado en Gale Force y en lo que está haciendo con M24, pero nunca se, nunca, no, no se han separado oficialmente y que tal vez en algún momento se van a juntar. Eh, ¿Qué están haciendo los otros chicos de Baron Cross? ¿Qué están haciendo los otros chicos de Baron Cross? ¿Sabes? You know? You know, they're, they're just basically doing their thing. Uh, sometimes they'll do little musical side things, I think. But uh, other than that, they're married. They have kids. You know, they, uh, I think I'm the only one in the band that is, don't, doesn't have children. But, uh, you know, I've had dogs and cats. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? Speaking of Baron Cross. Oh, yeah. What? Uh, I'd like to give you this CD. Oh my gosh! This is Baron Cross Birth Pangs, the, the most recent um, album from, from Baron Cross, and it was live in Switzerland. Anyway, sweet! I, I love the, it! It's a double live album. Okay, would you like to sign it when we finish? Yes. Yeah, sure. Awesome. And we never, we never showed the CD. That, he already sent it to me, okay? This is the Subhuman, so everybody can. Uh, todos los pueden adquirir okay, en, la, en la página de la banda de Gale Force, que la mostramos hace poco. Okay. Me acaba de regalar un disco, una edición doble con vivo de 30 años de aniversario de Live at Elements of Rock Switzerland, un show que hicieron en Switzerland. Así que regalito, ahora me lo va a firmar también, ok. Todo siempre está autografiado. Así que bueno, le voy a, va, vamos a ver qué le va a preguntar a otro de mis eh, invitados en el futuro y ya vamos cerrando. So, we, I have a, a, now it's your turn to make a question to my future guest, okay? Anything that comes to your mind. It doesn't have to be musically related. It could, okay? It's up to you. Anything you would like to ask if you see uh, another musician or maybe an actor, actress? No? Hmm. Very open. Let's get together. Let's have a let's have a great musical party, and uh, I love meeting people, and I love uh, getting together and collaborating. Uh, you know, there, there's a question, eh? You gotta tell, ask. There's uh, anything you would like to know from, let's say, Paul McCartney. I don't know, someone that you admire. Well, I really would have to know who it is first. Hey, yeah, I know. Always depends on the person, but. Uh, that's another tough question. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough question. Um, I'd like to find out what is deep in the heart of a person when, when they write their songs and what moves them to write their lyrics. Uh, I think the lyrics of a band is very important. Uh, I don't take this lightly. Uh, some people have written lyrics that are even damaging uh, to people, and, and so lyrical content is really what motivates me what, you know music music motivates me just as much but the lyrics really do motivate me and uh and so i yeah i would ask somebody uh what moves them in their heart uh in the lyric well la pregunta es qué te mueve en escribir las letras las letras son la parte muy importantísimo en en cualquier canción y bueno la pregunta básicamente es qué qué te motiva a qué eh, qué es lo que te motiva a a escribir determinadas canciones, ok, en, en qué están orientadas. Así que bueno, eh, me voy a despidiendo. Michael, thank you. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for your time. Ok, gracias hermano. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you to all you fans out there. Uh, and if you want to hear some more of the music, you want to buy anything, uh, come to galeforceband.com. Galeforceband.com. And, uh, and then if you want also any of Baron Cross materials, baroncross.com. So, thank you guys. Love you guys.